Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing great. I hope you've had a great day so far and I hope that you've made time to take care of yourself because that is oh so important. Today, I'm doing a candle review. You all know I love a good home fragrance, but I am not bound strictly to some of the brands that you've seen me review here before. I really do like to switch it up, give you some options, especially on the more accessible price side because as you all know, many of the candles that I purchase tend to be a little bit pricier and that's because they do perform well, but I don't want to limit it to that because there are so many options out there. If you're interested in scenting your home beautifully, you shouldn't have to invest a lot if you're not at a place where you can do that comfortably. So I went to this festival a few weeks ago. I put up a video of it. It was a real, very, very short uh, video of what I got and the candles were in that video. I'll try to link the reel overhead somewhere, okay? So I bought five candles. The name of the company I purchased these from is Mam Jams, which was really cute. Uh, the jars kind of look like, um, to me, they kind of look like what you might expect, either candles or jelly to be in. So it is a local brand to Virginia. They have many fragrances, but I only purchased five. And these size candles range about $14.99 a piece. So if you're looking for something on the more affordable side, but also you still get a good amount of product, this is the video for you. So of the fragrances that they had on their display table, some of them were only for the shows and I couldn't find them online and others, of course, I found online with no problem. So let's talk about the fragrances that I didn't see online and what I have to say about those. The first fragrance is A Dozen Roses, very self-explanatory. And you can see that is what it looks like. This is, I believe, a, uh, I wanna say a six ounce jar. I want to say six ounces. This smells incredible. If you like rose scents, this is great. As you can see, I've burned it. Um, this is great. Uh, this scented my great room beautifully. It scented my office beautifully. And I didn't have to burn it very long for that scent to travel. So I definitely can recommend a dozen roses. If you are interested in a rose fragrance, this is fabulous. Consider sending a message to the company. See if this is something that they have on maybe some list that you just can't see through the main website. So a dozen roses, no link for it, but ask the company about it. The second candle also, on all of these will be the same size and same price, $14.99 US dollars. It is box of chocolates. Again, smells incredible, smells just like chocolate. As you can see, I did burn some, scented my great room beautifully. Didn't smell it as much in my office when I lit it, but it may have been that I was a little bit nose blind because I had smelled it earlier in the great room. I have had no problems with any of these actually scenting a much larger room. In fact, I found that, and it could be just me, I found that they scented really big open spaces, especially well, far better than I was expecting for this price range, especially the box of chocolates. Yeah, that's the name of the box of chocolates one. I lit that, I walked away. I actually forgot that I lit it, but within 30 minutes, I was like, gosh, something smells great. This smelled just like candy, amazing. Now, the next three are on the website. So you can purchase these if the scents interest you. I did not see all of the notes for each of them, but I will look again. And if I can find the notes, I will put them under each fragrance along with the link to them, okay? So the first one, which one do I wanna do first? Let's do black currant absinthe. On the website, it's just listed as black currant. So this smells wonderful. It is very fruity, but also a little bit herbal too. So you're getting both the black currant, which it does give you almost like some berry notes, but then it's got the absinthe, which gives it some bite. This is really, really nice, y'all. 
If you see, you're thinking, oh, you must have loved that candle. You lit it a lot. That's not what happened. I lit it a few times and then one night I forgot to blow it out before I went to sleep. So I've used a lot of it. But these, I do believe, this was overnight. So um, at that rate, let's say eight hours, this is looking like a 24 to 40 hour candle depending because there was more at the top that I had burned a bit. But if you burned it consistently, this will probably last about two, not quite two days. This will probably last a little over one day if you just lit it and didn't blow it out. But please do extinguish it and make sure that you get a lot more scent out of this candle because you don't need it to burn constantly to get good scenting of a space. So yeah, this one, loved it. It is, like I said, herbal, but also sweet and a little grassy too. Um, there's also, it has almost a little bit of ozone smell. Um, it reminds me, I won't do that. I was going to say it reminds me of a particular scent. It kind of puts me in mind of something that I've smelled before, but I won't venture to guess because I'll probably say the wrong scent. But that is black currant absinthe. Highly, highly recommend this one. This one I like too because it is very much yin and yang. You've got some of the more masculine and edgier notes in here, but you also got some softness and a little bit of fem in there too. So if you need something to send a space that has people coming in and out and you want to appeal to anyone that comes in, this might be a good one. So the next one is, do I want to do the, yes, Caribbean teak wood. Now this I like because you definitely have a bit of, a little bit of spice. You got a little bit of coconut in there. Um, and of course the wooden notes. So that is Caribbean teak wood. This is on their website. And again, if I can find the, the scent, the notes for the scents, I will put those in. But yeah, this is this is lovely. It does smell very much of tropical, but it's got a little spice in it. And I'm not sure what the spice is. It reminds me just a touch, like a touch of cinnamon. But of course, that's cinnamon is bark. Teak wood is wooden. Think bark. So that's probably what I'm smelling. But very, very nice. Um, as slight, ever so slightly fruity, mostly wooden notes, but very soft wooden notes. This isn't harsh at all. And then the final one is the novelist. Now I bought this because I love to write. This is the novelist. It's supposed to give you the essence of paper, like an old library. And it does. Now, when I lit this, this is probably, though I love the idea and I love the scent when I put it close to my nose, this is probably the least powerful in scenting a room. The other ones work beautifully. I put this in my office where I thought I'd want this fragrance and I could barely smell it. So I love the concept, but to me, this one didn't play in that space as well as I want it. I didn't try it in my great room. So I might have to try that and give you an update if I get a different result. But in my office, I wasn't impressed, but I still like it. And I still will light it and let it just kind of glow off to the side. I'm not relying on it too heavy to scent the room, but when I open it and smell it, it definitely has an aroma to it. And it does indeed smell like paper. So that is it for my quick, quick, quick review of Mam Jam's candles. I highly recommend them. I love that they are very reasonably priced, that they're local and handmade, and that they do smell amazing. And especially those first four, the scents are just stellar for big and small spaces. So if you're wondering, will it scent my, of the ones that I said scent? Yes. The only one that I wouldn't advise to scent up a very large space is possibly the novelist um, because I didn't smell it in a smaller space. But great scents, beautiful ideas behind scent. Like, yes, chocolate is a very basic 
and very simple and easily liked scent as well as rose, but Caribbean teakwood is just great. Um, what was the other one? It was Caribbean teakwood and black currant absinthe. I mean, absolutely well, well done fragrances. I love them. Cannot wait to buy more. Cannot wait to try them in different rooms because of course I had them in my great room, in my office and in my bedroom, but I want to see how they work in a bathroom because that's a really small space. Um, and see, you know, what, what kind of aroma it leaves in the bathroom. I can't wait to experiment with that a little bit and try a different space. Um, and also have people come by and tell me what they think of them. So that is Ma'am Jammed. I'm almost certain most of you have never heard of the company, but if you do want to support a small business, this is one to check out and you can order through them online. So that is an option for you. But that is it for my candle review. If you have any fragrances similar to these ones, like teakwood or um, paper scented fragrances or anything like that, let me know what you Think of those kind of scent profiles in the comments and I'll be sure to get back with you. So please have a good one. Take care and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.